Hello everyone, I'm Albert Bevia with Spain on a Fork. Today we're going to make one of the world's most popular dips, hummus. I'm going to show you my version of a roasted red bell pepper, hummus. This recipe has an elevated flavor and I'm going to show you an easy way to make it. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I encourage you to click on that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Okay, first things first, I've had my oven preheating in the bake and broil option at 250 degrees Celsius, which is about 480 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm going to add one red bell pepper and two cloves of garlic to a baking tray. Now we'll drizzle a little extra virgin Spanish olive oil on top of the bell pepper. Sprinkle it with some sea salt. And let's add our baking tray to the oven for about 18 minutes. Okay, it's been about 18 minutes since we added our red bell pepper and our garlic to the oven. So let's go ahead and take them out. Okay, while we wait for our red bell pepper and our garlic to cool off, let's grab one cup of jarred garbanzo beans. Let's drain them and add them to a food processor. Okay, now let's add one tablespoon of toasted tahini and the juice of one lemon to the food processor. Next, let's add half a teaspoon of smoked paprika and one clove of garlic. Now let's remove the skin from the roasted bell pepper and from the roasted garlic and let's add it to the food processor. Okay, now let's add about a quarter cup of extra virgin Spanish olive oil and one tablespoon of water. Let's season it with some sea salt, some freshly cracked black pepper, and let's mix it for about three minutes. Okay, let's transfer our hummus to a bowl. Let's cover it with some saran wrap and let's add it to the refrigerator for at least one hour to let all the flavors develop. Okay, it's been two hours since we added the hummus to the fridge. I've taken it out and now let's start plating our dish. Now let's add some homemade flatbread to our dish so we can use it to dip into the hummus. You can find my recipe for this flatbread in the description box below. Now let's garnish our hummus with some roasted red bell pepper strips and a little bit of freshly chopped basil. And let's drizzle a kiss of extra virgin Spanish olive oil. And there's our final dish of a homemade roasted red bell pepper hummus. If you enjoyed today's video on making this tasty dip, please subscribe to my channel so you can receive all my future videos. Until the next time, hasta luego.